Hey guys, it's Gadget, and this is number seven. Lucky seven, right? Okay, like I said, I have been through hell and back with people abusing me and everything. I had one guy call me um, a bitch as my nickname. Wasn't enough that my mother would do it, and I had to have one guy that would, okay? I had people play me, use me. So you see that it's a running thing I try to avoid. That's why everyone thought this person here, even though I would have taken him just as a friend, was different. And nope. The same goddamn patterns as the last ones. I don't know where they come out of the woodwork, but I, I can't win. So that's where it comes to now this. Other signs. Okay. Now, we heard, of, like I said, we had the out, the block. There is another one, like I said, with the friends and everything. So you can see where it's called the hidden I was talking about. I know I want to find it's called the hidden. This is when a guy wants to keep you around as a toy. You're not taken to parties. You're only brought out for show. You are there if the real girlfriend or anything does not show up. You are just there for his amusement only. And you're none the weary until one of their friends decides, I can't let her go through this anymore. She's such a nice person. I have to fix this. So it's called the hidden. You don't go out to, to movies. You don't go anywhere. You just stay in their house. You don't want that. That's just you being a hooker. Okay? So that's the hidden. Try to avoid being the hidden. Make them take you out. Make them acknowledge you in front of their friends. If they're talking to people on the phone, scream, yell, do whatever. You need to not be hidden. Okay, so we have the out, the block, the hidden. What's another one? We all know the classic rebound and everything, and you know what that is when one guy gets broken, one girl gets broken, you rebound, you're each other's rebound, you fix, but then you rebound back to whatever. Yeah. That one was the only one who put my heart back together after all the bad times I had. Because I even said, like, there was one that dumped me for an 81-year-old. Yes. She was 81 at the time, and oh, she was uh, he was flossing her teeth. And if you can read into that innuendo, yes, it was true. But here's the funny part. He found me working, recognized me after I lost all the weight. Turned out he, I didn't recognize him because he looked like skin and bones from all the drinking. Was, wanted to date me, and he was my friend from co um, high school that I used to ride the bus with to school was all happy and everything. The minute the 81 year old got very jealous of me, and that's why I said I know what jealousy is, I was chopped liver. She got fired. Well, I didn't get fired. I walked off because, well, no, I wasn't. I was actually asked off and then I walked off because I got, so I called the cops because she threatened me with a fork while she was drunk. She was about to reach for the knife. Yes. This is my life. I have an 81-year-old defending, like, not defending, but how, what's the word I'm thinking of? No, it is defending a 30-something-year-old because he wanted to date me and she wanted him. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and I'm trying to deflect the blocks and everything, and she was going for my bad knee and... Oh, it was a nightmare. That we call the BX-10 bus driver situation. That was all on MySpace. That was fun. That was a whole thing though on that one. Um, that's when the rebound guy showed up, and I went to high school with him too. So it, it's just a pattern and everything. Because the first boyfriend sort of um, I knew for five years prior was the one after the incident with the stalking cop from college. Yes, this is. I wish I could write this as a book but it's easier to explain this way. He, um, 
he, how do I put it, proposed to me and used it to get back his ex-girlfriend whose boyfriend was looking for her when I was looking for him. And me and the, uh, and the girl's boyfriend found the two of them and all of this. And I, oh, it was. And that's when you got the deflect in there because she was trying to deflect me from the situation and everything. And then we were figuring out that he was playing both the girls. And every, <coughs> it was just to the point where, yeah. And then I had all that snowballing with the BX10 guy, the rebound, all that blind dates that turned out that they didn't come out the closet yet and all and the FWB and all as you could see I'm going to scream so yeah and then the UK things that I had and what not just only the one recently but the other and everything and so on and so on and so on and I'm like what was I thinking and then I remembered it started because I was not allowed out to socialize. I had to read in books, watch movies and everything. So yeah, things are crazy. Things are interesting. Things only do happen to me. And they are all true. Like I said, I had to keep a notebook on one because of all his stories he used to tell me. Because remember that thing I talked about cover stories? That was the one with the 81 year old. He was with her while trying to get with me. Oh, you, you, yeah. Okay. We're going to just forget that. One. So, it's upsetting and disappointing that no one wants me. And I know people do want me. It's just that some of them aren't my taste. Some of them want me, expect me to travel hours in advance. Nah, get your asses here. You're coming here. I am not running for anybody. I'm sitting here laughing my ass off because the one person that we all thought was not going to pull this, pulled this. The only thing that makes me upset is the vision I had that the first time I'm going to meet this person is in a coffin. Because someone's going to fly me out to the UK as they're burying him. If he doesn't change his ways. This is what happens when you're a witch. <laughs> okay? I'm just watching my candles. I'm doing casting and stuff. And yeah, it's... Oh, it's just been one of those. You know, I need the calm. I need the zen. I need... You know? So, I hope he sees these. I really do. Because... I do not... I'm not afraid to hurt him. Yeah, with me, it's simple. Be blunt. Tell the truth. You know? Yeah, I wanted to walk away this time because, one, besides seeing him dead in the vision in the coffin, that was, oh, I did not, I, I was trying to wake up from that one. Um, I was getting tired of all the lies and all the deflecting and all the whatever. So, let's see. I'm trying to think, and I'll get the clock, too. So, what else can we uh, talk about? Because... I'm trying to remember all of them because we have the out, the block, the deflect, the hidden, the, um, oh, what was the, oh, that was a good one though, I'm trying to remember. The introduction to mom. And I know you girls know about this one where you've seen it on TV where the girls do it with the guys, where they got the good guy and they got the bad guy, you know? And the parents see the good guy and everything. Guys do it too. I am the wholesome good little girl that they bring home to mother because I know how to knit. Uh, I mean, sorry, crochet because I can't knit. I know how to cook. I do love cleaning a house when I'm not in pain or anything. And I'm at 920. So that's the other one you don't want to be. You don't want to be the good girl. And that's where I think he got it from because... I am the good girl in everyone's eyes. And I'm going to explain the good girl as soon as in our next post. All right, I'll be right back.